Hello my dear acquaintances and people that I have never met in my whole life. Recently I have been struggling to get myself out of Satan's butthole aka hell aka solo Q3 with 3 champ 3 lobbies. Since I started doubting myself and whether I should actually just stop playing the game and sell my PC to GameStop for one pack of big red bubblegum, I eventually decided to keep playing to at least provide some, hopefully, entertaining content on my channel. And because I was too unmotivated to give this show a name, I'll just call it playing in a C3 lobby and not trying to end myself by wrapping a plastic bag around my head. I hope at least you enjoy, because I didn't. The game starts with my mom entering the room and talking to me, while my teammate decides to test my reflexes by dropping the take the shot quick chat 0.05 milliseconds before the kickoff starts. I failed his test. Trying to not be impolite towards my mom, I get confronted with a top corner shot for which I could just act like as if I was attempting to save. All my friends know, I'm without a doubt the worst person at multitasking. After this lovely start, my teammates seemingly learn from the past and decide to double commit on the kickoff. A little bit confused, I turn on the backboard and try to make my opponents believe that I'm one of them by carrying the ball towards our own net. To make sure they believe me, I lose a 50-50. Turning back around, I suddenly get overwhelmed by a wave of missing some physical contact and give a headbutt like Zinedine Zidane to my opponent. We both die. Spawning back on the side of the field that is furthest away from the ongoing play, I dodge an opponent who is trying to imitate his teammate and find myself being passed to by the third blue player. He obviously fell for my strategy earlier. Calm and collected as I am, I miss the open net but can save myself from yanking the plastic trash bag out of my bin by reading the bounce and scoring the double tap goal. Oh my god, that was so cool. Save that shit. Fasting forward, I get jealous of both my teammates being in the same corner and shyly try to approach them. I end up capturing the ball and decide to return the favor to the guy that passed to me before. What a wholesome man I am. Free from guilt, I now try to carry the ball into the blue net, but surprisingly I forget about the ball and end up in the net myself. Amused by that, the opponents now carry the ball towards the orange net and doing some mechanical stuff with the ball that makes me want to throw up, the player manages to leave the ball at our goal post. My teammate feels sorry and gives the ball back for them to have another try. We don't have to be afraid of anything. Next scene, I pinch the ball to the blue corner, check whether my teammate wants to take a shot going for the ball, but then just go for it myself. The pre-flip demonstrates how I clearly am better than everyone else in this lobby. Now we have a lot of pressure on the blue goal and this has to be the lead for us. Am I right guys? 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 Guys? After successfully picking up our corner boost, I watch my teammates trying to score a nasty double tap on our own goal. No one will notice if you just make your montage in black and white. Pro tip. Rotating far post, like Wait and Pilken, better known as The Messiah, taught me, I completely jump into nothingness. But it doesn't matter because the opponent becomes our goalkeeper instead. This made me chuckle. <laughs> As the clock is slowly ticking down, I would normally now be wondering whether we will get to see a zero second goal, but this game made me lose all my hope, so don't even bother thinking about what the answer will be. Overtime. How exciting. My teammate shows again his hidden talent of bamboozling the whole team by sending a quick chat very last second. Nobody goes for the ball. Not even the opponent. In an overtime like this you really don't want any distractions. A lack of focus could mean losing the game and that would be... Uh, oh, thank you, this golf prodigy and congratulations, you made it into the video. After 40 seconds of OT, which contained more double commits than actual ball touches by my teammates, we finally get our first chance. Sorry, my teammate says. We live and we learn and we'll do better next time. Something tells me he was lying. Since we got absolutely nothing done for one whole minute, the official rules of Rocket League say that it's now the opponent's turn to try to score a goal. With a final double commit of my teammates, my left hand reaches towards the plastic bag next to me. And as soon as I could realize that the opponent apparently got distracted by a butterfly, the ball still finds its way into the net. I, s I swear, the goalpost has never been there before. You can imagine how I felt, and as if that wasn't enough, I even dropped down a division. I hate this game, I hate my life, and I hope to never see you again.
Bye.